Have you ever wondered how many types of animals there are? The answer is, well a lot. But don't worry, we're not going to count each one. Instead, let's talk about the fascinating world of the animal kingdom. It's like a gigantic family tree, branching out in all directions, filled with creatures of all shapes and sizes. Imagine a colossal zoo, except instead of cages and enclosures, we have classifications. This is where we group animals based on their characteristics, like a puzzle each piece, each animal fits into a certain spot. And today we're going to explore five main classifications, fishes, amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals. Each group has its own unique traits and lifestyles. Some are masters of the deep blue, others conquer the land, and a few even rule the skies, but they all belong to this fantastic family we call the Animal Kingdom. Ready to dive into the Animal Kingdom and explore its wonders? Imagine being able to breathe underwater. Sounds fun, right? That's what fishes do every day. Fish, the real water dwellers, inhabit the diverse world beneath the waves. They have a unique ability to breathe underwater using gills, which are like our lungs but designed for life in the water, and don't forget about their scales. Scales are not just for show, they act like a suit of armor, protecting fish from the outside world. Now let's talk about some specific fishes. Take the clownfish for instance, they're not just famous for their vibrant orange and white stripes. These little swimmers have a mutual relationship with sea anemones, a type of creature that usually stings other fish. Then there's the great white shark, the ocean's top predator. Despite their fearsome reputation, they play a crucial role in maintaining the balance of marine ecosystems. So, next time you see a fish, remember, they're the masters of underwater life. Ever wished you could live both on land and in water? Well, amphibians can. Now isn't that fascinating? Amphibians like frogs and salamanders lead a unique double life. Their journey begins in the water, where they hatch from eggs as tiny tadpoles swimming about with their little tails. They breathe using gills just like fish. But here's where the magic happens. As they grow, they undergo an incredible transformation called metamorphosis. They sprout legs, their tails shrink away, and they develop lungs to breathe air. This transformation allows them to move on to land and explore a whole new world, and their skin. It's not like ours or even like fish scales. Amphibians have moist, permeable skin which means they can breathe through it. Yes, you heard it right, they can breathe through their skin. So whether it's a leap across the lily pads or a deep dive in a pond, amphibians can do it all. Amphibians truly have the best of both worlds, don't they? Do you know who loves basking in the sun? Reptiles do. Imagine, if you will, a world filled with scaly creatures like snakes, turtles, and crocodiles. Each one is unique, yet they all share a few common traits. For starters, they're covered in dry scaly skin that serves as a protective barrier. This skin is so unique you could identify them just by touching it. And what about their offspring? Well, reptiles lay hard-shelled eggs. These aren't your typical breakfast eggs though, these are tough, protective homes for their future little ones. Now here's a fun fact. Reptiles are cold-blooded, but that doesn't mean they're cold to the touch. It means they depend on their environment to regulate their body temperature. When they're feeling a bit chilly, you'll find them basking in the sun, soaking up the warmth. From tiny lizards to massive crocodiles, reptiles are truly fascinating. Have you ever dreamed of flying high in the sky? Birds live that dream every day. Birds are unique in the animal kingdom boasting feathers, wings, and beaks. These features not only allow them to take to the skies, but also help them survive in diverse environments. Feathers provide insulation, waterproofing, and a means of communication through their bright colors and patterns. Wings, on the other hand, are specially designed for flight, with different shapes and sizes, suited to various ways of life. And their beaks? They're like a multi-tool used for everything from catching food to building nests. Birds are also known for laying eggs. Unlike the eggs we might have for breakfast, bird eggs are often colorful and patterned, providing camouflage against predators. And let's not forget their incredible ability to fly. From the speedy hummingbird, zipping from flower to flower, to the mighty eagle soaring high above the mountains, each bird has its own unique way of navigating the world. From the smallest hummingbird to the largest ostrich, birds are truly amazing creatures. Did you know that you are a part of a very special group of animals called mammals? That's right. Just like your fluffy dog or the majestic elephants you see at the zoo, you belong to this diverse and fascinating group. What makes us mammals, you may ask? Well, there are a few things. Firstly, all mammals have hair or fur. Yes, even you. 
Think about the hair on your head or the tiny hairs on your skin. Secondly, unlike some other animals that lay eggs, mammals give birth to a live young. Remember how kittens or puppies are born? That's exactly it. Another unique trait is that mammal moms feed their babies milk. And last but not least, we are warm-blooded, which means we can control our body temperature. No matter how cold it gets outside, our bodies work to keep us nice and toasty. Yes, from your pet cat to the gigantic blue whale, we all belong to the fascinating group of mammals. So we've journeyed through the animal kingdom, haven't we? We started underwater with the fishes who breathe through gills and have scales covering their bodies. Then we hopped onto land and into the water again with the amphibians, who start their lives in water and grow up to breathe air. After that, we met the scaly reptiles, masters of land, sea, and even the sky, always laying their eggs on solid ground. We then soared high with the birds, the only animals with feathers, who lay hard-shelled eggs. Finally, we ended our journey with mammals just like us, warm-blooded creatures who give live birth and feed their young with milk. Isn't the animal kingdom fascinating? Each group of animals, unique and diverse, living their lives in their own special ways. Next time you see an animal, see if you can tell which group it belongs to. Remember, every animal has its own special place in the kingdom of life.